go, they follow you, they go. We are the youth in the house. My Bible tells me so. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go, let us go into the house of the Lord. I go, they follow you.
lift up my hands up. Give him the praise. I will lift up my hands up and give you the praise. Jabba Mesa Muche. Hepa. I wanna do the ya. Can they call me? Can they me do kaka? Can they call me? Can they me iko? Ida nantuna ya da kachi cheni. Ida nantuna abu bu wanda kai. Zenda kahana yena. Zemba kado kaka. Zenda kahana yena. Zemba kado kaka. I will lift up my hands up and give you the praise. I will lift up my hands up and give you the praise. Zemba ame zamute. in the house. If you know you are living, walking, moving miracle, let me hear you make some noise. Say, I 
heart Somebody celebrate Jesus in the house tonight. If Jesus has been so great to you, celebrate Jesus. With a loud shout of ring tonight, wave your hands to Jesus. The Bible says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy is endured forever. Celebrate him, he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amongst the gods. Who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders. Hallelujah. Amongst the gods, there is no one like. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah, oh yeah, who oh, is like unto thee. Magnify him tonight. It's the reason why you're living. And there can never be anyone like him. Hey, so faithful. Has he been doing wonders in your life? Tell it to him tonight. He wonders. There's a voice.
an awesome God you is. God I bless you. From heaven I'm all the way to the east. It's the power and love of God. The Bible says He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of sound mind. Ah God. From heaven I'm all Voice to me. Tell her all is to you. From the beginning of 2018. One more time, tell it to say, I got
Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Blessed are the noise makers. No. Because they will be indomitable and not indomit on the table. Come on, jump up and shout the Lord. Because there is time for everything. Yesterday was Indomitious. Tonight is going to be Fantabulous Tikalodu Indomitious. We have in the house, we have in the house great generals. Please, I want you to listen. I want you to listen. We have in the house great and mighty generals that our Father in the Lord has raised. And they are here to give all of us another level of race. To bring to the podium the one that the Lord has chosen to bless us this night is one of the two generals in the house the assistant general overseer of the young adults and youths all over the world who doubles as the pastor in charge of Eastern African and also the coordinator of all the pastor in charge of Eastern African regions is also a member of the Governing Council of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Put your hands together as I bring to the podium Pastor Peter Ona Hamekiena. Hallelujah. This night is a special night. And I'm telling you, I had to prepare not to miss what you are about to receive. Now, I know it's not customary for me to always introduce uh, the people who are coming to minister. But you may not know, but I know those that are right here, the youth ESCO and the leaders of the National Young Adult and Youth Affairs know that the man that is about to minister is very, very close to me. He's a man with a large heart for the youths. Ever before the main department, Young Adult and Youth Affairs, came into existence, he has been working with the youth because he also came into this mission as a youth. And he knew what he faced and he has made it a thing that is dear to him that he must encourage youths. So without wasting your time, you have a father in the house who truly loves the youths. Yeah. 
and I want you to join me. You may see him come coming in here very humble, very unassuming. <laughs> but this man, hallelujah, this man is a professor of divinity and is the assistant general vassia in charge of admin. Please join me with a rousy welcome to welcome Pastor J.F. Odeshola. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now can you give a warm, loud clapping of hand for our father and our leader who has just uh, hand over the microphone to me now. Hallelujah. Please lift up your two holy hands to God and just worship the name of the Lord. Just tell him, Lord, I love you. If you do, I appreciate you, my father. You are a good God. You are a mighty father. Let him know that you are saying something to him. That in your time, what we are witnessing is just been brought forth. Let's give glory to him. Tell him you are the mighty God. You are the all-sufficient father. You are the mighty almighty. You are the unchangeable changer. What a great and a good God that you are. We worship and we adore you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord of heaven. Good shepherd, great shepherd, our redeemer, our master, our brother, our supporter, our baptizer, the one who has been before the foundation of the world, ever loving God, ever faithful, ever reliable, ever dependable. You are the mortal, invisible, the only wise God. We worship you, Lord. We adore the beauty of your holiness. What a great God that you are. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. We worship you, O God. We worship you, O God. We worship you, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. I'd like you to pray and say, my father, my father. Anointing that will make me unstoppable. Anointing that will make me indomitable. Release it over my life. Every law of life, limiting my life, lift up your hand away from me. Loose your grip over my destiny. Every law of life, limiting my destiny, limiting my progress. Loose your grip over my life. Put your anointing over me that will make me indomitable in life. I want to be an indomitable instrument in the hand of God. Lord Almighty, let it be. Lord, let it be. Lord, let it be. Put an anointing upon me that will make me indomitable. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'd like you to hold the hand of your neighbor and say, my father, my father. I agree with this, my neighbor, that our heaven will be open and you will make us stronger than our enemy. Our heaven will be open and will do great exploit on the earth. Our heaven will be open. We are unstoppable success in life. Pray for your neighbor and agree with your neighbor. If your neighbor is not praying for you or not praying with you, feel free to detach your heart and go and join your hand together with someone else. Mesakabusha. 
Lord, the anointing that make Chiri Bokushanda Bakuri la Mazanda Le Kapuri la Mazanda da Bakusha De Kapuri la Mazanda Kapuri la Mazanda Jesse Kapuri la Mamakusha La Ropo Shara Thank you, Jesus. Le Kapusha Kalamaz. Je Kapukuro Sana. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Le Pokushara Bakusha. Le Kapuri la Basanda da Kapusha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heaven. Let your glory be above. For the earth, and let your glory be above all the earth. Be thou, be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above. Father, we thank you. The Lord of glory, the one that no one can conquer, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the unchangeable changer, the deepest, the tallest, the widest, the most holy, the most deepest. We want to say thank you. The Almighty, the one who decree life into existence? Immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Omnipotent, we bow our head. Omnipotent science, we bow our heart. Omnipotent presence, we say thank you. What a good God that you are. Our Savior, our friend, our healer. Great physician, the one with healing in his wings. We say thank you to you. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the commencement of this particular convention of the youth that started yesterday. We worship your name. All the great delivery that you have released over us. To you be glory, Lord. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We want to appreciate you, God, for all the sections before now. We thank you for this session. Thank you, God, for the safe arrival of your people. And thank you, Almighty, for the smooth running of the convention thus far. To you be glory, Lord. To you be honor. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into this session, you own all the sessions of this program. We ask that you will meet with every one of us at the very point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't confess to know anything. I don't know nothing. But you are the all-knowing God. I ask, oh God, you will enable me with your wisdom and unction to be able to function. And that a few things, Lord, that you will say through my mouth, even while you are saying it, myself, oh God, will be a beneficiary. We ask that no one, oh God, will count this section a waste of time. And Lord, you will do that which only you can do. You will perfect and perform your wonder in our lives. Lord, let it be so in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God Almighty, 
that in the life of that one, someone that this session is made for, that woman, that girl, that boy, you will meet with all of us at that point in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father Almighty, get all the glory at the end of the day in the name of Jesus. We give the glory even to you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Empower your word, O oh Lord, and do that which you have promised to do. Thank you, eternal Father. Blessed be your name. We pray for a leader in this section, the leader of this youth, Pastor Peter Mekina, the AGO in charge, and then all the, and the national leader, and all the key officers. May your hand never cease upon their lives. Everyone that wish them success, let them have multiple successes. Everyone who wish them otherwise, we back it to sender. And everyone that say amen, that double portion of that prayer will be your lot. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let someone say amen. Let someone say amen. Walk up to three people and tell them, God has made you stronger than all your enemies. Three people I said. Hallelujah. And please take your seat. Let me register my appreciation to a great daddy, a leader and a coach, uh, and a mommy, daddy and mommy, here at Deboye for the opportunity they have given to all of us youth to be able to manifest the talent that God has given unto us. May the Lord continually keep them as they progress in life. May the anointing of God be on the increase in their lives. May God take them from glory to glory, from honor to honor. And everyone that say amen, you have double portion of that prayer. Let me also salute our Father in the Lord, the AGO in charge of youth affairs. Um, it's a man I have come to love, come to cherish. Great teacher, you can't be under his teaching and never get transformed. May the grace upon him continually be on the increase. So I want to thank him and his wife, Pastor Peter, on Amehina, Amame. Amen. You know, the Lord will bless you. So, our leader, Pastor Precious, thank you very much for giving me the privilege and all our great key leaders. The Lord will bless you. Indomitable minister. I will read from Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. You can write down on your own 2 Timothy Chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. We're not going to read that. Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. And we will read Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel 11, 32. I'll just read two verses. Jeremiah and Daniel. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee, I will break in pieces the nations. And with thee, I will destroy kingdoms. Daniel 11.32 And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit indomitable minister may the lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in jesus name there is no doubt that in the age and in the era we live it looks like the enemy is on rampage recruiting agents into his kingdom every day 
I mean, knowledge and worldly wisdom are on the increase. Darkness seems to be moving at a fast speed. But when you read the book of Joel, Joel chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to 10, in verse 1, the Bible said, what he said there is that blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm, the day of the Lord cometh. And in verse 2, he was talking about something, darkness that covered the earth. And he was talking about what will happen at the end of this day. And I want to, you to also know that as the devil is doing his own, God is always ahead. He's always ahead of the enemy. And he's also racing people, steering fire in them. A people that will never retreat, neither surrender. They will never take no for an answer. They believe that nothing is impossible. They are indomit I mean, indomitable minister. They belong to the order of God. And when you check the archive of the Bible, those ministers there, they are doers of great and daily feet. Now, in the Bible, the Bible is full of illustration. And the gallery of Hebrews chapter 11 is also repeated with different things there. Look about, when you look at the Bible, look at Gideon. In Judges chapter 7, verse 19 to 23. Judges 7, 19 to 23. With 300 men, he was able to bring down the entire nation. Samson, in Judges 14. Judges 14, 5 to 6. Judges 14, 5 to 6. How Samson, single soldier, for more than 20 years defended Israel. Elijah among Camel. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 36 to 39. 1 Kings 18, 36 to 39. How he was able to call down fire. Think also about the apostles. In the act of the apostles, what they did. The pages of the act of the apostles is full of their feet. And where I read to us this night, now God is bringing to life what he said years ago. That you in particular, you are my battle axe. And my weapon of war. And he said, with you, I will bring down nations. Now, it doesn't have to do, now this has nothing to do with your background. It has nothing to do with how you look. Now, it has nothing to do whether you are a male or female. But he said, you are my battlers. And with you, I will bring than nations and I will break in pieces all the work of the enemy the second passage I read he said anyone he was talking about they, those who know their God that's 32b he said those who did something against the covenant will be corrupt by flattery but they that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Indomitable minister. Let me lay this foundation are the people who have come to realize who they are. May I draw it again? I know you know that you are not ordinary. You are extra ordinary. I want to remind you again that you are not like any other people. You are unique. Because you are configured and wired 
to come and fulfill an assignment. Each time the Bible talks, it talks about you in particular. First Peter 2 9 says, You are a royal priesthood, peculiar people. So you are not like any other person. In Jeremiah, he said, Way back before you came into existence, I knew my plan for you and I ordained you. And in chapter 29, verse 11 of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, he said, I know the thought I think towards you. So you must have that come into your mind. That must be born into your heart. Indomitable minister. There are people who realize that they are something, someone. You remember this psalm where David said, who are thou, who, are, who is man, that thou are mindful of him. Was born out of the fact that angels held a meeting in heaven. You, Michael, come. You, Gabriel, come. Let's go and meet God. How could he make somebody who is ordinary clay? How can he make them our, our, our bows? And so, when they finished their own special meeting, they went to the house of God and they knocked the door and God said, yes, come in. And they entered into the sitting room of God and God was there on his seat. And they said, sir, your majesty, king of glory, we are not capable. We don't have the local standing to ask and to question your authority. But there are something because we have watched you that you are love that we want to ask you. What have we done since the creation of the, the existence of the heaven and the earth? Is there anything or any commandment you have given us that we didn't do? The Lord said no. Then why is it that the other day the men you created, you made them our ruler. And God told them, you know I'm sovereign. That is the way I pick it. And that is the way I choose to do. Do you want to go back to your work or I send you to the, your junior brother or your senior brother I send to the, to the vacuum and they say, your majesty, and they move. The very first thing you need to do before I lay the real foundation I want to lay is to know who you are. Once you understand yourself, you understand who you are, then things will move. So becoming an indomitable minister is one of the mechanisms that God packaged in, your, in the covenant for you. And he wants you to do something unusual. Doing signs and wonders. Moving with power and fire should be part and parcel of your life. I mean, becoming an indomitable minister he is your birthright by creation. To look at situation that wasn't working well and said, this must work. This must move. That's why he said, you are my battle ass. So who is an indomitable minister? Or what is the proof that somebody is an indomitable minister? One of the things you see in the life of indomitable minister is that they generate results that defy the natural laws of life. They generate uncommon results. God said, you are my battle axe. With you, I will break kingdom into pieces. The other one said, those who know what God has commissioned them to do, 
they will do great exploits. Indomitable minister. They generate results that create ama amazement, amazement to people. Indomitable minister. They generate result beyond the normal. Indomitable minister. They generate result. I mean that these your detract they are detractors. Indomitable minister generated generate strange results. They accomplish something greater than their age. They generate something that is greater than their background. They bring out beauty from shame. They bring great things from inconsequential. Who is an indomitable minister? An indom indomitable minister turns hopeless situation of life around to become a resounding testimony. Indomitable minister turns hopeless situation around to become a resounding testimony. They look at worst situation, hopeless situation, and they jump for joy. They are not people who call pity party. They are not people who are weeping and crying for garlic. Like the people of Israel who will give us garlic and onion. I don't know how many garlic you can eat to get satisfied. I don't know. But they were crying for garlic. But indomitable minister, they bring the best out from the battle of life. They create marvel from the impossibility of life. They bring fame from ashes. They are not part of the people who celebrate pity party. Who is an indomitable minister? They command the results where it is not naturally possible. Where everybody has failed because they are indomitable. They go there and succeed. Where everybody is running from. They stay there. And do something great. I like the way pastor. The AGO. Youth Affair talks. And I've added my own. You don't need to travel to America. For your life to be amended. Not everybody in the UK. Have their life okay. You don't need to go to Dubai to do good. Don't go to Belgium to go and beg. Don't go to Sweden to go and sweep. Canada is not necessary if you don't want to can your life. Where God put you, you can get result there. There was a story of a man in Genesis 26. They call his name Isaac. Genesis 26 from verse 12 to 22. Genesis 26, 12 to 22. Everybody was running away from the land. But this man believed who God has made him to be. That I am an indomitable person. And so in the desert, the little seed he had, he showed the desert, I mean he put on the ground it was in the farming that he planted. Everybody was running away. But the little seed he had, he showed it. If you want to, if you want water in the desert, you should go and get a good company that can sunk a borehole. But in the desert, this man dug away. And he got water. The, the people strived with him. He left it. They fought with him. He left the other one. On the third occasion, they said, mm, this man is this friend. 
Intermittable minister generating results where everybody is running from. I pray for someone here today with my eyes closed. If your amen will be thunderous, you will generate results where it is not possible in the name of Jesus. Indomitable minister, they generate results that turns enemies to liars. They generate result that turns enemy to liar. The story of the young man Jephthah comes to mind. Judges chapter 11 verse 1 to 10. Judges 11 1 to 10. In verse 1 and 2 the people rose up against this man and say you are a bastard you can't stay with us they chased him out the man didn't complain he didn't I mean he didn't he, did, he didn't get bit offended he carried all his loads and not be moved no so long after that they invited him he told them, you chase me away from my father's house. If you are calling me to come, I will be your leader. They said, we agree. Where you have been cheated and defrauded. Where you have been belittled. The grace of God has been belittled in your life. You will be invited with honor. Those who hate you will come and bow down for you. Thomas or Didymus who didn't believe in God's gifts in your life they will come about for your maker who is an indomitable minister is the one who generates resolve that limit the limitation of life such a minister generates resort that limit the limitation of life <laughs> in 1 Samuel chapter 17 there was a boy called a teenage boy there they called his name David he was not too by the definition of Nigeria of today he's not an adult I was told that before you can be Certify as an adult in Nigeria, you have to be 18 years. The, the boy was 17. So he could not be part of the soldier that fight. He was only good to take food for his brethren. And one day he took food to the battlefield. And when he got there, he saw the army of Israel. They were in disarray. And there was a man that was accusing and speaking blasphemy against God. Sir, ma, always learn to ask the right question. You know the first question this young man asked? He went to people and said, excuse me, because this man talking is matter is a concluded matter. Please, what shall be given to the one who killed this man? They ask him, are you okay? He said, yes, perfectly okay. Someone asked him, are you crazy? He said, no, I am mad, making a difference. <laughs> they said, anyone who killed this man, we become an in law of King Saul. He said, Is that all? They said, No. His family will be free from taxes. So he called his brothers and he said, Uncle, please, I, have, I want to have a meeting with you. He called his brother and said, Sir, I want to announce to you that today, I, David Jesse, I, David Jesse, I have become an in-law of King Saul. I 
and he says, Sir, Mr. Jesse, and all you Jesses, you are free from taxes. The brother said, We know. The, the, the brother said, You know, sir, you know, I told you, my, my brother, I told you this boy has his brain has got kanky. You know, I told you. This boy is very, very noisy. He is he's stubborn and very naughty. And he said, is there no reason? David said, is there no reason? They took the matter to the king. The king said, you cannot do it. You know what he said to him in 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 32? 1 Samuel 17 verse 32. He said, let no one be afraid of this Goliath. I, David Jesse, I will kill him. I pray today, all the battle, all the generational battle that conquer your forefather, your grandfather, great grandfather, and conquer your father and your mother will not conquer you in the name of Jesus. The circle of pains in your family shall end as a result of this particular convention in the name of Jesus Christ. So David said, I will go generating results that limit the limitation of life. <laughs> in the same chapter, 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 47, the man ran towards Goliath. Ha! Before that, Saul, King Saul said, if all your, all your family members are here, they are not able to fight. David said, I will go. When the man appeared there, he was talking to Goliath, today I will kill you. Goliath asked him, am I a dog? He said, yes. He said, today I will kill you. Goliath said, are you going to kill me with ordinary hand? He said, I will give your carcass, I mean the carcass of the Philistine. I will cut off your head. And everything he said he can do. He was able to do it. Generating result greater than your age. I pray from today, as an indomitable minister, you will generate result greater than your age in the name of Jesus. You will generate a result that will make people to ask for your roots. They said, when he has killed Goliath, they said, See, ah, who is the father of this young man? Today, by your life, your, the glory of your family will be showcased. Who is an indomitable minister? Is a minister who commands constant, continuous change as the journey of life continues. They keep adding values to their life. Each day is a story of addition. As they look unto him, they are transformed from one level of glory to another. Who is an indomitable minister? They are not liability, they are assets. They bring something colorful out of hopeless situation. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, 1 to 8, Acts 3, 1 to 8, Peter and John, at the hour of prayers, find a man by the beautiful gate with an ugly situation. Many people have walked past the place. I don't want to be disturbed. I want to go and pray. But when they were passing, this man said, give me money. They said, we don't have money. Silver and gold, we didn't have. But there's something greater. 
indomitable minister. They are not liability. They don't live for themselves. They live for others. They live to encourage others. Destiny is a failure if you live for yourself. Is there any person that will miss you if you, if you relocate from where you are now? Have you lifted up? I mean, have you been able to help someone since the inception of your life? Could somebody say, as a result of your life, my destiny has changed? Indomitable ministers. They are not liability, they are asset. Who is an indomitable minister? Indomitable ministers generate results that break records. They bring fullness out of empty. Generate results that are common. See, indomitable ministers are action people. What we read in Genesis. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, Genesis 1, 2, darkness covered the earth. In Genesis 1, 3, Genesis 1, 3, God said, let there be light. The result of Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, gave integrity to God. I mean, God's response to that hopeless situation to turn it around. Jesus came to Peter. He has fished all night. Nothing has happened. But he said to him, come on, throw your net to the deep. Life is not about talking about your situation, but about turning, turning it around. At a time in John chapter 6, Jesus was preaching somewhere. And it was late. People are hungry. Jesus has a mind what to do. But he has the disciples. And just said to the people, let them sit down. Let me say this to you. Even when you know what to do and you do it wrongly, you have discovered something. It's a discovery. Failure is a signal that you can succeed. There is always a doing that provoke exploit. Luke 5, 6. Luke 5, 6. The Bible says when they have out, when they have this done, so when we are talking about indomitable minister, they are not people who are wishing and waiting. They are not person who is just the dreamy. They are people who put on action. They just they take action. They see fire, they call it water. They see death, they call it life. They see impossibility, they say it is possible. I pray today, every hopeless situation around you, the power of God, the grace over this ministry and this organization, with my eyes closed, that grace will bring sweet, refreshing solution to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me say a few things more. How do I join the company of these indomitable ministers? How? You are my battle axe, the weapon of war. How do I join? I will mention five things. And I tell, by that time, I will have exhausted my time. 
Number one, you need to get connected to God and stay perpetually on this mountain. How do I join? One thing is for you to be born again. Another thing is to make a deliberate decision to be part of the indomitable ministers. There are people or there will be people who are born again that may not fulfill destiny but will not be among them. I don't like your amen. So one of the ways you can join, get connected to God and stay perpetual, perpetually on the mountain of, of God. Ephesians 5, 1 Ephesians 5 1. To be born again is one. To enroll in the company of the indomitable minister is another. And first, I mean, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1 said, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith you are made free. I may not entangle again with the yoke of bondage. In John 15 5. John 15 5. Jesus said, to be able to do anything in life, you need to stay connected to me. That's what he said. In 2 Kings, remember the story, 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. Elijah was on the mountain. And as long as he was on that mountain, a man without any weapon, 50 and one soldier first set, fire came down and destroyed them. 50 and one soldier second set, fire destroyed them. And 50 and one soldier, one captain, the third time, they beg him. You need to stay connected. You need to keep checking your connection. In Psalm 94 verse 17. Psalm 94 verse 17. Unless the Lord has been my help. My soul almost dwell in silence. God is the fountain of what you are. And what you will be in life. Stay connected. So many people came, so many people came to the Lord in his day. They sought him for bread. And it's still the same in our days. Those who are God's users, they just want to use God to meet their needs. Indomitable minister. Connected to him. They stay on the mountain. Look at the face of your neighbor and said, Are you connected to him? Are you sitting or standing on the mountain of God? Make sure you do, you do that. Number two, complete surrender to the maker of indomitable ministers. Complete surrender to the maker of indomitable ministers. In 1 Kings 19, 20 and 21. 1 Kings 19, 20 and 21. We're told that Elijah appointed Elisha. And when Elijah was appointed, he left the oxen and ran after him. He left all the structure took the wood along to roast the, the cattle and share it so nothing to return to. Total surrender. So many people say surrender all today. But they haven't surrendered their, their money. They haven't surrendered their time. Total surrender. In Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 
Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 and Malachi chapter 3 verse 7 Malachi chapter 3 verse 7 he's talking about you and me returning back to the almighty total surrender to him in Acts of the Apostle chapter 2 verse 1 Acts 2 1 the Bible said and when the day of the Pentecost was fully come they were with one accord in one place total surrender nobody is thinking about any other thing let God take the whole life your whole being you don't have anything anyway I want to go back to my studies that's why you didn't make good grades nobody can disturb me from my work I can't allow Christianity to disturb me from my work that's why you didn't have it that's why you are on the same level for I mean for years total surrender to him number three how do I join the company of this indomitable minister total obedience to God total obedience to God Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 Isaiah 1 19 if you are willing and obedient the Bible said you will eat the fruit of the land so many people do things when it is convenient you know there are times when we talk about obedience there is, there is seven grade oh, that's not where what we are talking about today there are partial obedience incomplete obedience there are adjusted obedience and you have them at the pages of the Bible you have them the Lord said to Saul kill all the Amalekites and all that when he was coming he took all the good sheep retained their king Have you done what the Lord said? He said, okay, I've done everything. So what about the noise? He said, I, have, uh, I just brought that to... He has... He has... Uh, he has adjusted the obedience. Total obedience. Total. In Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. Exodus 19 verse 5. Now therefore... If you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, that ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all the people, for all the earth is mine. You need to be obedient to every injunction of his word. You can't do anything to improve God, nothing is truer than the truth. You can't promote God. It's not demotable. It's not enlargeable. It's God. And his verdict is for life. His verdict is, is the final. Total. Obedient to God. Very crucial. Matthew 7 24. Matthew 7 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house on the rock. Anyone who had that word and obey how much of God how much of his word do you obey? Number four repair the ruined altars in your life. Repair the ruined altar, the ruins altar in your life. In First Kings chapter 18, verse 30. First Kings 18, 30. First Kings 18, 30. And Elijah said unto the people, Come near, come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down before the fire could come. You need to repeat, repair the new altar. Anyone want 
to be indomitable minister, you need to repair the ruined altar. Second Chronicles chapter 33, verse 16. Second Chronicles chapter 33, verse 16. You repair the altars of the Lord. And lastly, which is the last thing that I want to I want to mention. Anyone who wants to become an indomitable minister, you must learn to ask. Ask the Lord for the mantle of an indomitable minister. Ask the Lord. Because in Matthew 7, 8, Matthew 7, 8, the very first phrase said, He that asketh, receive it. The corollary is that he that will not ask it, will not receive it. Ask. I like the man called Elisha. Elijah was quiet in 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 10. 2 Kings chapter 2, 1 to 10. When they were going, he was following his master. But he was waiting for opportunity. When the door will be open for asking, and at a time when they have crossed the, the, the river, he looked back and the water closed his back. Eh? When the man of God, Elijah said, ask for what I will give unto you, he said, I need the double portion. Because he can only take God's intervention to be able to go back. Elijah said, you have asked for a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I go, no wonder. The Bible said in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call upon me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. I've given you my story before. Finish a VG on a transport to Elon in my base then. And there was a, a, a Nabalist in the car that was threatening all the people. The driver, I mean, by the way of their connection, knows this man. And he was threatening them saying all kind of things but by the time he put his mouth on the people that belongs to Jesus I don't know what prompted me why he was talking in the bus in, the, in, the, in that particular 505 station wagon then I was at the back I was praying oh God oh God can you give me some courage and boldness to be able to do something. But Lord, I know you can do anything. Sir, ma, when you pray, put some action. After some time, I don't know what prompted me. I held the seat in front of me and I shouted, Driver, stop in the name of Jesus. And I said, and the driver pushed the brake. Ah! And I was speaking in tongues. Who ya kappa? Today I'm going to kill the man in the name of Jesus. But in my heart, you know what I say? Oh God, help me today. I hope I've not caused any trouble. I came down. The man was in the front. And I said, my name is Johnson. This one, uh, my father's name, my mother's name. I want to kill this man now, now, now. I carry my big text Bible. And as I was saying that, I was also praying. Because even saying that, I was thinking, what about if this man changed his heart? The man was looking like this, I was like this. I said, come down, I want to kill you now. 
in the name of Jesus. The man didn't talk. So the diver now prostrated and held my leg and said, Somebody said, What happened to this young man challenging elder? Ah, the general said, Shut up. You don't know this, this young man must have something to be challenging this man that nobody can dare. Amen. Prayers, they strengthen your inner mind. So when I, I was standing, I told them, driver, we are not going. This man, I want to sit down in the front of the car. So the man reluctantly asked to relocate. He didn't say nothing. May I say to you, you are stronger than you think. You must strengthen your life by the power of your prayers. You are not too young to do great things for him. You are a royal priesthood and you are my battle as he said. That's why this convention you must key into every word that will be coming from the pulpit. Do you want to be an indomitable minister? It's your choice. Incidentally, it's not. God has made his own choice. He has called you to himself. But what you do with the call or if the language permitted the calling now left in your hand he has done what he need to do he empty heaven to be able to give you the best the bible said in matthew 18 18 matthew 18 18 he said whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you lose in matthew 16 19 Matthew 16, 18 said, Behold, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And he repeated the same thing. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound. Whatsoever you lose. That's what he can do. But whether you now do it or not, he's your part. Joshua said to the people in that book of Joshua 24, so verse 15 and 16 or so, he said, if it seems evil for you to serve the Lord, choose whom you want to serve. But as for me, I want to become an indomitable minister. You are yet to see what God is capable of doing with a yielded vessel. It's your turn. It's your time to get connected into the company of the indomitable minister shall we rise as we pray we pray for two three minutes if you want you can be eating ting gum if you want you can be watching and watching watching your time or watching other people but i'd like you to close your eyes and focus on him and say lord i want to become an indomitable minister now if you are here you have not been born again we'll deal with your matter in a short while i just need something like four minutes more you pray for two minutes and I will use the other two minutes to do the prayer. I want you to begin to pray. Make me stronger than all my adversary. Strengthen me from the inner mind. Oh God, I want to fulfill the purpose of my being alive. If you didn't become an indomitable minister, you have disappointed heaven. God said, you are my battle axe and my weapons of war. And he said, with you, not with an angel, with you, with you, with you, not with any other person, not the next fellow, but with you. One and a half minutes more, Lord, make me an indomitable weapon indomitable instrument indomitable minister oh god i will obey you 
I will obey you totally. I surrender all. My connectivity with you will not be disconnected. I will stay upon the mountain. Yes, my father. I will pray. Yes. You have one minute to pray. Oh God, make me an indomitable minister. Lord, every vegetable and tomato spirit banish you from my life. Oh God, help me, Lord. King of all kings, help all of us. Oh Lord, let it be. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we pray. I beg you in the name of the Lord, close your eyes. If you are there in the congregation, I, of, of course, my time is fully used. Just have a few, just two minutes. You are saying, pray with me. I know my life is not properly connected to God. I'm not born again. I'm born again, but I'm not living right. Raise your hand. Let me say a word of prayer over you. Thank you. Raise that hand up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I could see that hand. Father, behold the hands that are raised. And I declare over those hands that the blood of Jesus will cleanse every life, lifting up their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. All little, little foxes that destroy your vine. Today, by the power of the word of God, they are banished totally from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that a new beginning, a new chapter of a new glory will be opened to your life in the name of Jesus. And the power to serve God for the rest of your life, may the Lord give unto you. Everyone that say amen with you, iniquity will not be found in their tent. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want everyone to put their hand on their chest. Lord, I pray for everyone here today. The power that cannot be resisted by the enemy. The power that cannot be conquered by the enemy. Everyone whose hand is on his or her chest and they will say a echo amen. Let them receive that power suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of timidity, spirit of fear, every spirit, oh God of inferiority complex, every spirit of confusion in the life of the one that put his or her hand on the chest by the power of the Holy Spirit let those spirit be chased out in the name of Jesus Christ I pray today standing where my father and the Lord is standing pray for you today with my eyes closed and I declare over your life what have conquered you. What has been a problem to you in the past. What have mastered you over the years and months. From this day, become indomitable over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Why this prayer is still in your mouth? That's what Isaiah 65 24 say. May the answer be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. The power and courage to manifest signs and wonder, glory of the living God. First, many people will say, Amen. Let them receive it suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. And together let us make it to heaven. Thank you because it is done. Glory and honor be to your name. Preventure there are people who are suffering. Oh God. 
who have been tormented by any force whether sickness whether sorrow whether depression whether loneliness whether i mean spirit of hatred whatever thing it may be sickness minor or major today the name above every other name swallow all those problems in the name of jesus why let sweet refreshing solution be delivered to your life in the name of jesus christ thank you because it is done glory be to your name lord in jesus mighty name we pray let someone say amen let someone say amen how many type of hallelujah do you know i know 37 now I know hallelujah perfugium, hallelujah victoria, hallelujah completer, hallelujah amazing, hallelujah locomotive, hallelujah enlarger. But I like hallelujah amazing. It has three rules. If you go before go is foul. Now listen to the rule and I will tell you to shout. The first to shout the hallelujah will receive first blessing. Amen. Foul, 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 foul. Until the referee tell you to go. If you go is foul. Now, listen to the three rules, then I will tell you to shout. The first to shout, the hallelujah will receive first blessing. The louder you shout, you receive the biggest blessing. The longer you draw it, transgenerational blessing. Man of God, thank you, sir. God bless you. Are you ready now? Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Will oh, please do well tonight by stretching forth our hands. Amen. We please do well tonight by stretching forth our hands. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. I like you to please stretch forth your hands towards the man of God that blessed you so much. Stretch forth your hands and ask God to refill him afresh. And that the Lord should empower him afresh. He has so much on his shoulders and he needs your prayers. Pray for him. Pray for him. Remember that there is harvest so pray for him pray for him pray for him for his ministry for his family for his future pray pray for empowerment endowment enhancement enablement pray for him pray for him that god will continue to give him wisdom knowledge understanding that he will be joyful thoughtful rootful pray for him he'll be successful in his work pray for him pray for him in jesus name we pray father not that we are qualified to pray for your son but as children, we always pray for those over them. We pray for your son that you have given so much to be handling in the kingdom. Lord, please increase the measure of wisdom in his life. Increase the measure of grace in his life. 
Always, Lord, please be granting him favor before men and women. Give him what to say at any point in time in the name of Jesus. Lord, empower him the more. Encourage him. Endure him. Enhance his life. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, wherever he stands to minister, let this fire that we notice always be burning. And let him be burning for you and let people be coming to watch him burn for you. In the name of Jesus. And after all is said and done, on that great day, Lord, please let him not be found wanting. Let him be found worthy for the rapture and to dwell in your presence forever. Father, we thank you. Uphold him and perfect his life and that of his family. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please give him a round of applause. He has poured his heart out. Give him a round of applause. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. May God's grace increase continually in your life in Jesus' name. People of God, have we been blessed tonight? It is now time for us to go into a session of prayers. And to take us this time is a pastor in charge of the youth church, the treasured place under youth province two, and the assistant secretary general of the National Young Adults and Youth Affairs. Please join me as I welcome Pastor Larry Oyegbola. Praise the Lord. Let someone be sure that he has a future and destiny. And that destiny that cannot be hidden, the destiny that will shine, that destiny that cannot be dominated, let that person rule a big hallelujah. If you are the one that you know, that the time has come for your destiny. The time has come for you to shine. The time has come for you to take over. Take over every sphere of life. Where God has planted you in your family. Where God has planted you in your school. Where God has planted you in your business. That the season and the time has come for you to rise and shine. Let me hear you shout. Hallelujah. If you are the one that the world is waiting for. If that scripture is written concerning you. That the earnest expectation of the creation of God is waiting for the sons and the daughters of the Almighty. If that is about you, let me hear you shout, hallelujah! <laughs> nothing is stopping you. Say to yourself, nothing is stopping me. Nothing is stopping me. Nothing is stopping me. Rise up to your feet as we pray tonight. Lift up your voice to God. And say I am unstoppable. Nothing is stopping me. My my dad in the name of Jesus. Have I becoming insufficient to stop me? In the name of Jesus, I become unstoppable. I become unstoppable. For my time has come. And my season has come. My season to shine. My season to arise. My season to dominate. That season has come. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Nigeria cannot stop me. In the name of Jesus. The circumstance of my birth cannot stop me. In the name of Jesus. 
the pronouncement of men cannot stop me in the name of Jesus what man thinks of me cannot stop me in the name of Jesus I am unstoppable I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus I am unstoppable let me hear your prayers to God my destiny is coming alive my time has come this is my season I become unstoppable I am too hot for the enemy to handle in the name of Jesus no fire of the enemy can consume that which God has located on the inside of me in the name of Jesus I break forth on every side because I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus I am reaching my goal because I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus I am fulfilling my destiny because I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus I am mounting up with wings as eagle and I am scaling the mountains because I am unstoppable speak to God tonight I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus for the time has come and my light is shining the glory of the Lord is risen upon me I am unstoppable in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the anointing upon my life is finding expression in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray say better amen. amen in the book of Matthew chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 15 God could not find any other thing to liken your destiny to to liken your significance to God said you are the light of the world God said you are the salt of the heart God said you are a city you are not a village you are not an hamlet your destiny is not a destiny to be hidden you are a city to set upon the hill you are a light that is not meant to be hidden lift up your voice oh God and say in the name of Jesus I am a light and my light must shine in the name of Jesus let me hear you cry to Jesus tonight I am a light my light must shine I cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus for I am a city that is set up on the hill in the name of Jesus I am a light I cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus I can't be hidden I am a city in the name of Jesus I am a city I cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus in business I cannot be hidden in ministry I cannot be hidden professionally I cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus and in Jesus mighty name we pray your amen can be a bit more affirmative. Amen. In 
the same Bible verse, scripture says you are the light of the world. Light is indomitable. Nobody can deny the presence of light. Nobody can deny the presence of light. The significance of light is incontestable. Lift up your voice to God and say, Father, I am the light in my family. I am the light of my school. I am the light in that business. I am the light in that family. In Nigeria, I am the light. Nobody can contest my presence. Nobody can deny my presence. No situation can deny my presence. My significance is incontestable. In the name of Jesus, everywhere I appear, men and women will recognize the light has come. In the name of Jesus, the light of God, that is what I am. And so I am indomitable. Nobody can dominate the light. For my light is shining in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. Yeah. For my light is shining. I am the light of the world. Everywhere I go, darkness disappear. In the name of Jesus. Every oppression of darkness. Before now. In my family. Because I manifest as a light. I dispel them right now. I put them to naught right now. In the name of Jesus. I am the light of the world. I cannot be contested. My significance is never in doubt again. Because I take my place. And I begin to manifest as the light of the world the light of the world the light in my city the light in my home the light in my family the light in my state the light in my church Yes, for the time has come. My light is shining without stopping. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Make this pronouncement for everyone to hear. I am the light of the world. And I will shine to the world. My shining will not be resisted. My shining cannot be contested. And from today, I become an amazement. Shout a big hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Pastor Larry Oyegbola. God bless you in Jesus' name. It is now time to give our substance unto the Lord and to lead us in taking this session is the regional youth pastor in charge of region 29 covering 
Calabar, uh, Cross River State, pardon me. And to minister at this time in songs is Region 12 Youth Choir. God bless you. Let an indomitable youth shout a loud hallelujah. If you are indeed indomitable, jump to your feet and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to give a great offering to God tonight. And I want you to understand before you give your offering that it takes sacrifice to be truly indomitable. Even Jesus the son of the living God John the Baptist in John chapter 1 verse 29 introduced him as the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world which means he gave himself as a sacrificial lamb without that sacrifice he would not have been given the name above all names he would not have been given the indomitable name and we saw the results in Philippians 2 verse 9 which says, wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. God in result gave him a, a name that is indomitable. No power that can stand or withstand that name. I want you tonight to package an offering unto God, an indomitable offering that will give you an irresistible authority over your enemies and over every power that may want to confront your destiny. Rise to your feet tonight, package your offering as the choir will be singing. Go to the nearest basket to you and please drop your offering. Rise to your feet and do it joy joyfully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Over. Come on, start. We search all over. Hey. 
ccg.org to give online please log on to www.rccg.org and click on online the online giving and follow on the prompt that, for the, that follows it let me take it again to give online please log on to www.rccg.org and click click on the online giving and follow what it brings next hallelujah shall we pray Father, we thank you tonight. We give you all the praise. You are the God who receives our sacrifice. We have brought this sacrificial offering unto you today. Lord, we pray that you will give us an indomitable authority. In the name of Jesus. As you gave unto Jesus a name above all names. After he gave himself as a sacrificial lamb. Lord, as a result of our sacrifice tonight, no power shall be able to contend, to, to contend with our authority in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you give a loud shout and say, I am indomitable. Thank you, sir. That was Pastor Philip. Adibayo, let's celebrate Jesus in his life, please. Let the indomitable shout, Hallelujah! Please listen carefully to the following announcements. This is from the Directorate of Missions, National Young Adults and Youth Affairs. There will be a meeting of regional, provincial, Zonal Area Mission Evangelism Mission and Evangelism Coordinators and with those brethren that's passionate that are passionate about soul winning. Let me take that again, please. There will be a meeting of regional provincial zonal area mission and evangelism coordinators and those brethren that are passionate about soul winning. The date of this meeting is tomorrow, Wednesday the third day of October 2018 and the time is 12 p.m. during the break time. The venue is Pillar 2K. Venue, Pillar 2K. Beside the counselor stand. Please note that if you are attending this meeting, your brunch will be served there. God bless you as you attend in Jesus' name. This announcement is from the counseling department. You should note that pastors are available for counseling and prayers at Pillar 2K as well. I'll take that again. Pastors are available for counseling and prayers at Pillar 2K. We have this announcement also from the team that produced the t-shirts. They said the indomitable branded t-shirts are available at the prayer foyer, right behind the altar. So if you want an indomitable branded t-shirt, you please go to the prayer foyer right behind the altar to get one. 
please take note of this particular announcement I'm about to make. We are advised to take care, proper care of our personal belongings. Please tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, be security conscious. Say it again to your neighbor, be security conscious. The Pastor Seed family have a publication. The PSF has a publication, which is the mantle. The mantle this time around is being sold behind the altar. And for every copy you pick up, you get a free photo shoot. I'll take that again. The PSF, Pastor Seed family, they have their publications ready for sale behind the, the altar. And if you take a copy of this publication, you get free photo shoots. God bless you as you take note of these announcements. We have now come to the end of plenary session three. And this ushers us into a very superb moment of this convention. And that moment is the Niger Independence Praise. Indomitable, you shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you're ready to worship the God of Nigeria, be on your feet and shout hallelujah! We want to worship Jesus. Yes, you are the Lord.
up to be alive today to celebrate Nigeria. Shout hallelujah! I can hear your shout. Let it go to the heavens. Clap your hands, all you people.
Indomitable youths, only those who appreciate Jesus, the living word to sanctify, the righteous word to rectify, the living word that fructifies, the wise word that edifies, the peaceful word to pacify, the powerful word to electrify, the loving word to intensify. We are talking about Jesus who was crucified. Later he was glorified. You and I, he identified us. He modified our past. He modifies our present. He beautifies our future. He justifies our being. He qualifies our works. He satisfies our needs. Are you ready to magnify Jesus? Are you ready to magnify him? One more time. Make some noise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! If you know you are breaking hot records and you are setting new records, can we do some shaking like this? Come on! Come on! Spirit of the Lord is moving all over me. Hey. The power of God is moving all around me. You say, I am bound to rule as a king. And I am bound to reign. I am royal. One more time. We say, the Spirit of the Lord is moving all over me. The power of God is moving all around us. I am on to rule as a king. Are you sure? I am on to win. I am for you. Can we go higher? You say, with pain, I'm taking on. Yes, I'm Oh, 
all over me Now your God is shining all over me Why so far? It's walking in your far to me I will always rule as a king of me. I will always rule as a king of me. I will always when I am no king. I will always when I am no king. The light of God is shining all over me. The light of God is shining all over me. The light of God is walking on my shoes. The light of God is walking on my shoes. I will always rule as a king of me. Oh 
the Lord by moving side to side in appreciation of who God is to you. What a God is! That is worthy of your worship let the youth who knows that is only you that will live here with the biggest blessing tonight give God the loudest hallelujah let somebody shout hallelujah amen amen we'll be going on now in this wonderful independence praise jam and we'll be having a spoken word presentation from trailblazer which will be followed by a music ministration from daniel olawande and then doyo seni will be leading us into god's presence with a saxophone ministration god bless you in jesus name as we go back to our seats. God bless you in Jesus' name as we go back to our seats. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let a living soul shout hallelujah. Amen. We are going to have a spoken conversation now. And in this spoken conversation, 
There is one simple instruction. There is one simple instruction. Anything I say, you all will respond by saying T. I repeat. Anything I say, you all will respond by saying T. Are you ready for me? I can't hear you. Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? Beautiful. Anything I say, you all will respond by saying T. For instance, can we have some serenity? Can we have some tranquility? Beautiful. Now I can see you are ready. It's your season of prosperity. Make it louder. It's your season of financial stability. Even if in Nigeria there is poor electricity, even if in Nigeria there is insecurity, instability, increase in power, because you are serving the Almighty. The one who is mine, it's your season of positivity. It's your season of prosperity. It's your season of possibility. Over your life, there is no casual. Over your life, there is no adversity. Over your life, there is no difficult. Over your life, there is no abnormality, no captivity. Over your life, there is no irregularity, no evil eventually. Beautiful. You where you never marry, God will give you a lady where they pre, a lady of gorgeous beauty, a lady of integrity, a lady of humility. God will give you a man of capacity, a man of credibility, a man that can handle responsibility, a man of dexterity, a man of maturity, a man we go call you sweet. You go get money, you go drive Buga. Because it's your season of indomitability. You will experience great opportunity. Beautiful. Seti. Seti. Even if your enemies are so plain, all their efforts will be turned to futility. By the authority of the divinity, every satanic fratani. We give them a divine fatality. Beautiful. Finally, drop all the perplexity, the worries and anxiety, because we understand our identity. We are people of courageous tenacity. We are people of prestigious royal. And of course, we are people with God, the indomitable identity. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We have come to speak over the nation. Is there any spirit in the house tonight? Lift up your hand and speak over this nation. Let 
where there be light. Let there be light. Your light is shining in Nigeria. Let there be light. Let there be light. In your light is shining in Nigeria. Let there be light. Your light is shining. Let there be light. Let there be light. Your light is shining. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We speak light of Nigeria. We speak light. We speak light. We speak light. Over this nation, over the nation, from Asura to all the states, we speak light. We speak light. We speak light. We speak light. Senate house, they wake up in the morning before they start plenary section, they hold themselves and the Senate president say, can we speak about the nation? Zata Bakata Zina Badabata in the government houses in the locations of the nation in the minister places all of us shut up the spirit of the Lord lives inside of us. The spirit of the Lord lives inside of us. The spirit of the Lord lives inside of us. We speak of our nations. Nigeria, we born for God. Young people, we born. Nations, we born. They we born for Jesus. Nigeria is for Jesus. Young people, we born. They we born. Speaking to yourselves in sounds and names and spiritual songs. There are some songs you don't understand. They are called spiritual songs. We want to chant over Nigeria. Can you hold your neighbor? Hold your neighbor. Hold your neighbor. We want to chant over Nigeria. Hold your neighbor. Shabba da bada. Oh. 
Wait, wait. There was one money like that. The Holy Ghost walked me out. And I went to the choir department of our church. I went to the Ariazas. And I heard the angel of the Lord begin to sing to my ear. He said, ay, 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 ay. And that angel was singing a song. And I asked him, What are you saying? He said, We held him most high. We held him most high. Over Nigeria, we held him. Hey. Ay, 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 ay. We speak over Nigeria. We speak over Nigeria. Young people shall burn. Young people shall burn. Young people shall burn. They shall burn for Jesus. All over Nigeria, from FCT to the state houses. Young people shall burn. Shalabada, Shabada. Irabada, Shabane, Kabada. She loved her name and got a bad day, Shabada.
thank God for the lives of Daniel Olawande and Dun Yoseni. Coming up next is a group of very young people that are very dear to our hearts. By the special grace of God, I can tell you that towards this youth convention, these young people came together and designed flyers by themselves to help us publicize the youth convention. I'm talking about the National Teenagers Department of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. So ladies and gentlemen, coming up now is the National Teenagers Mass Choir of RCCG. And following them will be the Regional Youth Choirs of Region 22, covering Ondo State, Region 4, covering Choir State, and Region 3, covering Ocean State. May we be blessed as we listen to them in Jesus' name. Somebody make some noise! If you believe you're gonna be in deep Tommy Double, come on, make some Holy Ghost noise in this place! Woo! We give you praise, oh God. Come on, clap your hands, people! Come on! Much praise. Somebody jump in this house. We give you praise. We bless your name, God. You were worthy of a praise. Such your glory in this place. you believe it say the glory the glory yes the glory of the lord it's coming down everybody sing the glory yeah yeah say the glory the glory of the lord yeah say And manifest in our lives. Say, say, I can see His glory. glory. All my people say, the church arise and worship. Revive us here to feel the same. Glory. Say, I can see His glory. See the glory. The glory. Yeah. The glory. Everybody say. The glory. The glory.
won't move We're desperate, Lord, for a touch from you If you don't come, we won't move We're desperate, Lord, for a touch from you You say, if you don't come, yeah. we, won't move. we won't move Desperate, Lord, for a touch from you If you don't come, yeah. we won't move We're desperate, Lord, for a touch from you say, We sing, yeah, shut up. We worship, you are king, yeah. We give, yeah, everything, yes, Woo. to the one who's worthy. Our hearts are ready, Lord. We here for you. Shout hallelujah. Are you ready to give God some praise? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. My God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. My God is good. Oh. If you are not dancing, you are wrong. Oh, 
through our daddy Gio Elo Kari Gerade Boye. He that never fumble will never let us stumble. Great and mighty things he has done, the one yet to do is unimaginable. Our God is invisible. He makes everything possible. Don't be faith to be humble. He will fight your battle and never his market and bottle. He made us stable. Throw food on our table. Bless us double and can never stumble. I call him the honorable, unchangeable changer, not a stranger, a world changer, mysterious arranger. I meet you almost stronger than power ranger. My defender, they can never surrender. Midfielder, great attacker, more attacking more than John Utaka. That is why he played more than Messi. They called him the Supreme Messi. Jehovah Nisi, that has a fizzy. More than Max the Wizzy and Don Jazzy. El Hoika, they can never wear Nika. The giver of clothes and Nika. Her sister Monica Bianca Rebecca or the Prisca. Can't you see? He created the sea. Walk upon the sea. Divided the sea. Calm the sea. Make the blind to see. He leprosy. Epilepsy. Give him a pregnancy. Make a fight to become a sea. On the cross, he condemned to vacancy. In the essence, I just climb a tree for him to see. What a God, my eye never see. He walks in where we cannot see. Amama Masi Amasi. Obase. Amin Abasi. Original KBSC. Mighty Okosisi. Root of Jesse. Owner of number 10 Jesse. Jehovah Nisi. The Supremacy. I salute your presidency. The sword of the great excellency. His most sharp partner, the one of his Sakaba. Amin Bakasi. His mighty. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Hallelujah. Coming up shortly will be a rap presentation from Sam Sinokeshola, a mouth saxophone presentation, and a worship session. But just before this, people come up. Please welcome with me the choir and praise team of... Region 5. Here we are. Here Region 5, one more day. Kahamara ne titi vanile. Kahamara ne titi vanile. Jehovah Wese. Jehovah Wese. Jehovah Bu. Oh, my God. 
Jesus with your job. Come on, say Jesus, 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 some rap place this morning or this night let's give God some trap place hello all right all right let's do the trap right now okay wait what I say what I say oh Lord it's about to go you will say kaboom boom oh Lord it's about to go kaboom boom Oh Lord, it's about to go. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Yeah. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Let's see. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Yeah. Cause children in the building got the fire can refuse it. See the time of bomb where I got it, not the only ghost can refuse it. I see the devil bloody trying to stop the army. Tell the devil he's foolish. Tell the boy I'm unstoppable. Every time when I do this, got it stronger every day by day. Making moves every major way. We ain't even got a struggle to get it, but we do it in a flavor way. We ain't worried what the haters say. My bad look ain't gonna make a way. Rapping just to every single day. We put a form like still a mate. Till I made, till I made, customized for the maker. Ah, I ain't worried about fitting in your place, customized for the maker. Well, Sally see me for my duty blows. Tell him pray in the Holy Ghost. Preaching the gospel, healing the sick. He don't be devil with winning souls. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Hey, got boom, boom. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Boom, boom. Oh Lord, it's about to go. Hey, we coming off, coming off right now. Hey, we coming off, coming right now hey oh lord it's about to go like see we chose this hell no god chose us gave us the power to rule in every situation man that's upon us okay see the ammo i don't care for you approach us like in book in the kingdom of darkness every single we expose it running up in dark when you see the sack and that sauce lead them to the ark now we let it mark and that's all say when you see the boy coming through and everything shall come and know everybody know the holy ghost y'all know what the story goes well, but, Tayoma, I'm a Jesse with the hammer on New level, that's the higher call Going off like the fireworks Y'all know the devil walk But don't tell the boy with the higher more And lead your mood is activated And me, me, man, let the fire fall Yeah Oh Lord, it's about to go Oh Lord, it's about to go Hey, I'm going off, going off right now Hey, I'm going off, going off right now Major, major, little church Major, major, lonely street Ay, Major, major, little club Oh yeah, hallelujah, see the beat Ay, Y'all know something coming through Everything just be coming now And everybody, oh yeah, raise the roof Everybody, oh yeah, raise the roof yeah. Oh Lord It's about to go Kaboom, boom I'm coming off, coming off right now Ay, Oh Lord, it's about to go I'm coming off, coming off right now some noise
Hallelujah. is an amazing wonder and this is why he has not allowed his physical handicap to limit what he can do for God his name is Jesse John and as he ministers to you tonight know that this young man was born blind but by the special grace of God he can play all musical instruments and today for the next five minutes he will be leading us in a session of worship and praise. Please welcome with me, Jesse John. Come on. 
on somebody make some noise come on somebody make some noise come on that noise is for my it's not for my Jesus tonight come on somebody make some noise hallelujah praise God I want to thank God for the privilege I won't take it for granted. I want to thank God for the privilege. I know I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much. God bless you. No one can treat me like you do. CCG Radio. We thank God for, you know, uh, the success. Anyway, it was a huge success. The success of, you know, the day two of, you know, the annual youth convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And uh, just in case you're still thinking, mm, should I come? Should I not come? <laughs> It's like, it's like wanting, wanting, wanting. Don't even doubt it, okay? As long as you know you have the time, make it down here. Make it down here. Because trust me, we still have Wednesday, we still have Thursday, and of course, we still have Friday. Friday. So you just need to, you know, just come around, okay? Come, 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 come. We're expecting you not to worry. Don't be afraid. Don't say, ah, where will I sit? Don't worry. Once you come to camp, everything will be <laughs> sorted, okay? It's going to be sorted. All right, so at this point in time, we just have to, you know, uh, just wrap it up but do not forget we still have other amazing programs coming up for you tomorrow and uh, just a quick um, reminder on what to expect tomorrow okay tomorrow being the 3rd of october of course we have the prayer walk okay we have the yeah. prayer walk and uh, right after the prayer walk we have the morning devotion and after the morning devotion we also have plenary session four we have plenary session four and right after that we're going to go on a break okay we're going to have the brunch the of brunch. course it's needed you need to refill <laughs> your body okay when your you, physical you body spiritual food gain, gain. then you also eat the physical food. one it has, it has to be a balance <laughs> you see? and then you also get to rest so, now, so everything, now, is every, every, balance. Every, everything is over balance over ba- <laughs> yeah, everything is over balance so. all right so you know everything is over balance i mean trust us to always tell you what you want what you need and right after brunch okay we're going to be having syndicate session two remember today we had syndicate session one which was given by pastor mrs wanola at daytire so tomorrow we're going to be having uh the syndicate session two and that is the financially indomitable youth the financially indomitable youth and that's going to be given by pastor Piton Olukayo day so if you know that you know you have some financial fears okay as a youth you're like oh i'm scared probably i save or i don't know what to do with some of my money tomorrow would definitely come in handy for you so you know you just have to uh just look and pray okay just exactly. pray more for inspiration all right paul that's uh, well, uh, uh, for the uh, main a part. little uh correction and little correction is just is that uh, the plenary session uh, two was taken this um, morning instead of the syndicate session one. We will be having the syndicate session one uh, later in uh, uh, in the course of the youth convention. But mm-hmm. for the plenary session two, mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, the indomitable political youth, and it was taken by uh, Pastor Kola Yenei. Mm-hmm. And you remember that time that he actually said a lot of pointers. Yeah. About the political space 
and there was the where he, 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 he actually defined the states mm. yes it's not it's, it's more like the definitions that we have in government and say states uh sovereignty nation country and then, but he actually broke everything down and got us to realize why we need to engage in politics mm. and he also said that we shouldn't even be asking ourselves why we need to engage in politics Death. he said what we should be asking ourselves now is why we need to engage in the state yeah because it is when you engage mm. in the state that is when you say you are actively political and if it is until when you're actively political that is when you can now take that dominance mm -hmm. and become an a, uh, an indomitable political youth mm. and of course there are a lot of things that he said just that we can't be you know, he, was, he was he was he was just you, on point and he was he was on point giving punchlines like punchlines after punchlines <laughs> like you know when you're trying to throw punches and you're trying to get up and then you're hit by another one but one thing i loved about you know the picture was the fact that he was really daring he was he really was, he was, he was daring. really yeah. daring at some point i'm like but sometimes you know you just have to say the truth okay yeah. you just have sometimes, to say the truth sometimes the truth is mm -hmm. very hard yeah very it's a bitter to pill take. to swallow it is a very bitter pill to mm. swallow and he just dished it out to us raw mm. and undiluted and of course at a point i started to think mm. how can i become an indomitable political youth how can i dominate the state yeah how can i become relevant in the political landscape of this country and i started to think about it and I'm sure that uh, there are many people, maybe and maybe you thought about it at a point, but I don't know. Or maybe you are thinking about something else, but I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to. I don't know about that. Really? But I don't cool. know about that. I don't know about that. Really? But for me, I was actually thinking about the fact mm. that everything he said was jamming me up. Yeah. And I'm sure. I'm sure it's my opinion now that it is jamming a lot of youths up to take charge. And become it actually, I political think his, his preaching actually reawakened, you know, my political okay. spirit. So it reawakened you too. Like it yeah. reawakened my political spirit. So I thought I was know, the only one. Well, you guys should just watch out for <laughs> me. My, you might be seeing my banners very, very soon. Mini, like mini, my flyers. Minister of, Minister of Women Affairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Minister of Enjoyment. Okay, don't worry, we're going to create that office. Don't worry, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, yeah, this is still RCCG Radio, HGS TV. And uh, please do not forget, okay, do not forget, please send in your testimonies. We know that it's day two. And we know that our God does not waste time when he wants to do wonders, okay? Mm -hmm. So you know you, want, you have testimonies and you want to share them please do that okay send it uh send it and also come down to the rccg radio studio okay to share your testimonies with the world you never can tell your testimony might just be that you know much needed push that drive that fire that strength and motivation that someone else might need my name remains Anne igudia and my name is Tolu Walopé Paul and from us to you we say remain indomitable <laughs>